Hello there, everybody. Thank you for tuning in for your monthly forecast for the month of May. Just want to go over some things really quick so that you guys know what we're looking at. First of all, this is not a comprehensive look at the whole month. What I am looking at is one theme that you're working on at some point during the month. Um, I'm actually technically looking at one particular life cycle, and we all have several different life cycles that we go through. And um, usually they will tend to overlap. So you could have a life cycle in love, in work, in family. Um, a life cycle basically just sets us up to either learn something or experience something. And as we learn that lesson or experience that, um, experience then as we incorporate that into our lives more fully we come to the end of the life cycle or the fulfillment of the life cycle and we get grad ready to graduate on to the next life cycle so that's what I'm looking at here is a life cycle I'm looking at the setup the lesson or the um, experience and then um, the fulfillment of the life cycle as you incorporate that lesson or experience so um, like I said this is not comprehensive this is not going to be giving you a heads up of all the major things that are happening for the month but it will highlight one of the major themes for you okay so let's get on with your monthly reading hello there Aries here is your theme coming up for the month of May um, what I have coming up for your environment, an environment can be any place where you have energy or effort invested. So many times it's home. I've also seen it come up as work or school before too. Just any place you have energy or effort invested. Um, and to me, what I'm seeing is there is something that you are letting go from that environment. So it could be that you're letting old furniture go that no longer works for you anymore. It could be that maybe a beautiful, beautiful tree has has um, died and you have to cut that down or uh, maybe there's just an old ugly shed that you're tearing down <laughs> but something is changing in your environment you're letting something go from the environment that's coming up here now let's see also in May for Aries the next thing that I'm looking at is your subconscious leanings and so these are going to be things that you kind of are thinking about on the back burner it's kind of like a background program in a computer you don't necessarily uh, realize that your computer is doing something but it really is the brain kind of works like this too and so with the subconscious you have things that are going on that um, the consciousness is only brought to awareness of them just once every so often and so this is something that's rolling around in your subconscious right now there's some kind of decision that you need to make and this decision has to do with um, being as fair as you possibly can I feel like you have to choose between um, a couple of situations well maybe even one situation that you're hearing two stories on or you're um, feeling like there's two stories on you're getting that sense um, so this is maybe like one friend is telling you about a situation and they're telling you that how it happened in one way and you've got another friend telling you about the same situation but their story is not the same and you're basically being asked to decide between these two people um, that's one way that this can manifest I also see this a lot of times too with parents who have children coming to them with differing stories about what happened uh, in a particular situation and the parent has to try to figure out okay what's the real deal here it's that type of thing of figuring out okay what's the real deal I know I'm not getting necessarily accurate information from any source <laughs> and you really have to feel around on this so this is if there's some kind of situation like this that your subconscious is working on um, during this particular life cycle in May Aries the next card that comes up talks to me about two different things talks to me about um, your method of learning when it comes to this particular life cycle and also about your communication style here so method of learning I think that you're not really trying necessarily to learn anything particularly new whatever it is that you're dealing with seems like it's it, uh, to some degree it's kind of old hat you've sort of been around this loop before and you've kind of seen it so you're not really necessarily working on finding new information I think maybe some new information might be finding you this time around uh, but you're not really reaching out so much for it as far as communication I feel like um, right now you are really good about um, communicating in, in a 
understandable, logical, organized type way. So presenting ideas um, in a way that people can understand and then building on those ideas at the level um, that they are understanding them. So that's what I see for communication for right now as you're going through whatever this is in May. As far as your work, um, first of all, you should know that when I read, work can come in one of two ways. Work can be that thing that you do to make a living, but work can also be those things that you're doing to improve your own character, your own self, to make yourself more um, of the person that you want to be. And so what I see here for work is that there is definitely the end of a cycle coming in. And, and for some of you, this will be talking about the way you make a living. For others of you, this will be talking about what you're doing on the interior of your character. Um, but there is uh, definitely the end of a cycle coming up. Um, I feel like there's been a lot of um, debate about whatever this cycle is that's ending. There's been a lot of conversation. Um, if it's something at work, there's been a lot of conversation going back and forth about what's really going to happen here. Um, and then if this is interior work, this is going to be that you've had a lot of inner conflict about um, if you want this to end and how you want this to end. Are you ready to stop working on this particular uh, part of your character? Have you developed it to a point that you're ready to turn loose and let go? So I have that coming up for you as far as work. That part of you that is being grown or expanded right now, you guys have a really interesting card showing up for that. And this card is telling me that that part of you that's being grown or expanded is um, that part of you that is receptive to new ideas um, coming into you. Um, and I feel like um, these ideas that are coming in are coming in to you um, in one form or another, but spiritually coming in from who I call sacred spirit. So whether this is meditation for you, whether this is in prayer for you, whether you're doing automatic writing to get these um, new ideas in, there's a lot of different ways to really tap into what spirit wants us to understand. It, but I feel like you are um, really growing um, in the area that is learning how to tap in and how to receive those ideas that you can really do something great with. Um, the next part that comes up talks to me about um, those things that you stand for. And um, this is what I'm seeing is that there is a situation in your life that uh, I'm trying to feel like where you are in time on this if it has happened or if you want it to happen. Okay. <laughs> I can't settle on it because for some of you it has happened and for some of you um, it will be happening very shortly. Um, but there's a situation in your life where the truth has come out about something that um, before you knew that there was more going on than met the eye. You just really couldn't put your fingers on exactly what that was. So the truth either has come out about that situation or it's going to very shortly. And you are, um, I feel like this truth may not be exactly what you were hoping would come out, but you're still defending uh, the idea that this came out and you are, I feel like the attitude that you have is it's better to know the truth about what's going on than it is to just keep wondering. So thank goodness this person brought this up to light or thank goodness this finally came out even though um, it's not what you wanted. And I feel like you may even be defending the person who brought that truth out. This person may be the very person who was hiding this truth for a while, but they finally brought it out. And so you may be defending that person and saying, you know what, at least they did come clean and that couldn't have been easy for them. So that's what I see you defending is, some, is a situation like that. Now, how other people perceive you. Um, first of all, other people, I'm getting a couple of different things for you, Aries. Other people perceive you, number one, as being... Um, really swift 
in your communications. So that would imply also swift in your decision making because you can't really communicate back with somebody quickly unless you're able to perceive and decide things pretty quickly. So very quick in your communications and also um, that you just have a lot going on in your life. Uh, I think people see you as somebody who is busy, um, but this feels like good things, like you have a lot of good things going on in your life to keep up with. So, um, and that you manage to communicate back quickly is really says a lot for you when there is so much going on in your life. Okay, so the next card that we have does talk about the lesson or the experience that you're going to be going through to complete this life cycle. I have had people ask me questions about how long does a life cycle last? It really is up to you. Um, it depends how quickly you grasp and, um, integrate the lesson or experience into your life or how much you resist it. I've seen life cycles last as little as 20 minutes and I've seen them last for years and years and years. Um, it really depends how quickly you want to advance and grow and how stuck you are. Um, let's see. So lesson or experience here is there is something coming up that you're going to have to make a decision about and I feel like this is going to be um, really a new beginning for you and I feel like you're going to start this new beginning really being logical, methodical, precise about how you want it to start. So this could be um, if you're starting a new business and you want to launch it publicly, this could be really planning out exactly how you want this business presented to the public you know, right down to timing, right down to look of the website, look of the people, uh, environment in the workplace. I mean, down to everything. This is really thinking something through is your lesson or experience. And it's something that you're beginning new that you're thinking through as you begin it. Um, fulfillment of this life cycle. We've got a few things going on. First of all, we already talked about how people perceive you as being really busy. I do see you becoming even busier <laughs> as you think through this beginning, this new beginning. I see you becoming more and more busy to the point that things get pretty hectic and the people around you are kind of looking at you and going, hmm, how are they handling that with such grace? Um, you're not feeling like there's a lot of grace involved here. You're just feeling like you're just barely making things by the skin of your teeth because you're just going where you need to, to do what you need to do as quickly as you possibly can, just so that everything falls together uh, for you the way you want it to. This is just temporary, by the way. Nobody could function like that all the time and still be a healthy person. And this does come up as a temporary thing. It's just as this new thing is getting started. Um, and the other thing that I have is I feel like you are getting probably a lack of sleep. Maybe you're just thinking and thinking and thinking whenever it's time to actually rest. Um, because I feel like this is impacting your mood and I feel like you are kind of feeling a little bit bluesy as you're starting this new thing and planning this new thing and getting it all, um, in order. So there's a little bit of blues feeling, a little bit of sadness, a little bit of down coming in. And I really feel like it's because, um, you're having a hard time sleeping for some of you. It's as simple as you have so much to do that, um, getting sleep is almost has to be written into the appointment book at, <laughs> for a little bit. Uh, but for others of you, it's just a matter of when you do lay down, your mind is just clicking through all the things you have to do the next day and the next day and the next day and all the deadlines that are coming up and are you on track for them and all of that type of stuff. So you want to be aware of that because when that starts impacting your moods, then that's a sign that um, it's also impacting your memory. It's also impacting your logic processes. Sleep is so important. So you want to try to get as much sleep as you actually can. Um, ultimate fulfillment of this life cycle. We've got, um, the wheel of fortune card coming up, which is just telling me that, um, the timing on this is right, that everything is falling together and that this is something that is going to be, um, happiness making, whatever this new thing is that you're getting started and you're making sure you've thought it through so well. Um, I'm really feeling like on this card, I've got a sense of 
like the the cogs in some great machinery all just working together just very precisely everything coming together pretty much the way that you want it to and things just working out really well on this so that's what i have for the fulfillment ultimate fulfillment of this life cycle so that's what i have coming in for you guys as a major theme aries in may i hope that you find this helpful and that you can relate to it i do want to tell you that i appreciate all of you guys coming in and hanging out liking sharing subscribing commenting all of that wonderful good stuff you guys do for me thank you so much i do appreciate all the support everyone have a fantastic month and i will see you back here next time peace out